Hey everybody, I'm back. I tried to pause my other video. It didn't quite work the way I expected it to. But uh, I got my Leatherman taken into the post office and put in the mail. A uh, flat rate shipping box, some small ones. A little extra, little extra insurance because they come with I think fifty dollars it was, and and I wanted a little more to cover that Leatherman in case it gets lost so I can get another one. So it was all in all about twelve dollars to ship it. Bought a little bubble wrap to wrap it in in the box, and and uh, that gets me to another. Another topic is the lady at the post office. I bought the roll roll a bubble wrap to wrap my Leatherman in, and I didn't use it all. And I didn't even use half of it. It was only a couple bucks. I and I uh, just gave the rest of the roll to her, told her to give it to whoever needs it, and uh, she was surprised that I was doing that, and not taking it with me. So, well, what am I going to use bubble wrap for? I just needed it to wrap that Leatherman up. And, uh, is, is it really that surprising that somebody's going to, you know, give away a do dollar or two roll of bubble wrap? I guess it is. But, anyway, I want to talk to you about a little bit of beer. Right now, we've got my Dark Horse Brewing Company pint glass. And it's only fitting because in it, I've got some Dark Horse Crooked Tree. They're India Pale Ale, unfiltered and unpasteurized. Now, I'm not usually a big fan of an IPA. This one isn't too bad. It's not quite as bitter as some. And they do have a version of this called a double crooked tree, which is a little bit darker, a little more stout. It's a double pale or double India pale ale or imperial IPA, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they make some of my favorite beers there. Uh, they have an imperial stout called Plead the Fifth, which is one of my absolute favorite beers. And I'm I usually go more towards the you know the darker stouts and porters and beers like that. I never really did get into beer until I found craft breweries. Wasn't it? I was more of a whiskey fan, whiskey drinker, bourbon. And scotch and then there's some really good small cap craft breweries around me this is another one i found that's a pretty popular around here pretty good it's out of munster indiana i it's a few couple hours away from me but it's uh, around hammond gary uh, great lakes area zombie dust and that's an american pale ale which is pretty good and the dark horse is actually a little closer to me but it's out of marshall michigan it's kind of just across the michigan indiana line and if you're up the northern part of indiana the southern part of michigan those are definitely two breweries that you need to check out uh, I don't know I've never been to Three Floyds to their tap room and I'm not real sure how good they or how nice and their food is or anything but I've been to the Dark Horse a couple of times and they have a really nice place and really good food and great atmosphere friendly Definitely check them out if you're in the area. Now, that's all I got for you. I'll let you know about that Leatherman when it comes back. And 
And uh, if anything else pops up, I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching.